Continuing on with media availability, we have the driver of the number 16 Lily Diabetes Ford for Roush Fenway Racing in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, Ryan Reed. Ryan, you're here uh, this weekend. Yesterday, you took some time, headed over to Hunter Holmes McGuire VA uh, Medical Center and through a partnership with RIR. Today, uh, you're going to meet with some veterans later on. It's NASCAR Fan Appreciation Weekend here at the track, and there's a lot of NASCAR fans who are veterans who can't get out. What was it like to be able to go and, and interact with some of those fans who can't get out to the racetrack? Oh, man, it was pretty special. I've uh, never been up there. Um, and that, first of all, the place was huge. Uh, I couldn't believe just the sheer size of the place. I mean, we toured it. It took us about an hour and a half to kind of go around and tour it. And I don't, I don't think we saw the whole place. It was a pretty amazing facility, a lot of technology. Um, so it was really cool of them to let us come up there and hang out. But uh, it was even more cool to kind of meet with all the uh, a lot of the veterans, uh, a lot of those guys have uh, are huge race fans, um, you know, knew all about racing and was very up to date on everything. And so it was cool to see uh, how much the sport means to them, but then also just to kind of hear their stories and uh, hear what they've done for our country. Uh, you know, and so it was a huge honor to be able to go meet those guys and to uh, see um, their reaction of us going there was uh, very memorable for me personally. Um, and then also uh, the there's... Um, 25% of veterans are actually living with diabetes, and so me and myself living with diabetes, that's, uh, uh, you know, a pretty big connection, and so uh, they have a whole diabetes uh, unit there. I uh, got to go meet some of the veterans living with diabetes, and so it was uh, personally special for me as well, and uh, it, was a, it was a really cool trip. Anything stick out? Uh, any interaction with any particular person or anything like that, or, or all meaningful in their own way? Uh, yeah, I mean, certainly you're not going to sit there and talk to uh, a veteran and, and not, not pay attention, not take it, you know, in its own uh, right. But, you know, those, um, there was one guy that came up and uh, was talking to me, and I was there with Brandon Jones. We were signing autographs, and, oh, uh, man, he uh, knew everything about racing that you could possibly know. He he'd probably talked to us for 20 minutes about the chase and uh, where, where, where I was at in points. And if I was stressed out, I mean, he probably knew more about where I was at in points than I do. So he was uh, very on it as far as his racing knowledge goes but uh it was uh, pretty cool to see like i said you know just uh how many race fans there were there uh it's uh, as a race car driver uh you know when you can talk about racing with somebody it makes uh it makes it, the conversation flow a little easier speaking of points in the chase tonight you uh you'll have the opportunity to clinch a spot in the chase even without a win how does that change your approach knowing that uh you know you'd like to get that win but but you can clinch a spot if you you know if you run well uh, well, about six weeks ago, we had kind of had a string of bad races, and we felt like, man, we're not all that safe uh, as far as the chase goes. And so we kind of put our head down and uh, clicked off a few top tens, got top five at Road America, um, had finished 13th at Darlington, which was mediocre, but still a decent points day. Uh, and I think we're some, I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention to points. I knew we were, you know, putting ourselves in a good position, but someone said we're uh, maybe 70 points to the good. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I think we're right there. And like you said, we can clinch it tonight. Um, but kind of like I was in here when Carl was up here a few minutes ago and he was talking and uh, you can be a lot more aggressive and try things and we had a very exper experimental practice this morning tried a lot of things uh, you know especially there's not a whole lot of short tracks in the chase for us but looking ahead to Phoenix maybe if we can get that far uh, this is a place where we could maybe learn some stuff for there so uh, tried a lot this morning um, you know I feel like we had a pretty productive practice so um, you know, we, we definitely want to get ourselves clinched in tonight. Even if we don't, we still feel like we're in a pretty good spot uh, to be able to go out there and get after it and go for, uh, a, you know, a good run and maybe even go for a win. Obviously, uh, you still want to, um, you know, even if we do get clinched in, wins are still going to help us in the, once we get into the chase. Does anybody else have questions for Ryan? You go right here. Dave Lawrence, Richmond Suburban News. Um, you know, I, I had done a bit of story on you a few years ago, and, uh, you know, they were learning you know, how to monitor and how to control your blood sugar uh, during races. I mean, have you gotten better? I mean, not that you were bad with that, but, I mean, has that gotten easier or, you know, has it gotten a little more effortless? You don't have to think about it as much now? Uh, I you know, I think it's um, talking to anyone living with diabetes and regardless of what your occupation is, you know, your day-to-day -day life is your day-to-day -day life and uh, race car driving is part of my day-to-day -day life, uh, fortunately. Um, but, you know, I think 
I don't know if it becomes easier or more effortless, but you become, it becomes more of a routine, you know, it becomes something that I guess gets a little more comfortable. Uh, but technology keeps advancing. Things continue to get, uh, more reliable, more accurate. Um, you know, and when it comes to watching your blood sugar, something that is so pivotal, pivotal in your, uh, day to day, you know, not only health, but just the way you feel and your energy levels, uh, you know, it affects you in so many ways that, um, you know, how reliable that equipment is and uh, the technology that you have in place is really important. So I think uh, between, yeah, just, you know, every day more and more technology comes out and, you know, it becomes more reliable. Uh, it only helps me manage it and makes my life a little bit easier and uh, I feel a little better too. Anybody else have questions for Ryan? Go to Woody. Woody came with MRN. Uh, after you leave the short track, you go to Chicago. I'm just curious about where you feel your program is stronger. Is it short tracks? Is it the intermediates? Where do you feel like you guys are really clicking right now? Uh, well, I feel like we're bringing better race cars to the mile and a half since short track. I feel like short track's probably um, where we're the worst. Uh, you know, I feel like we just have the least amount of uh, speed and balance at short tracks. I think we, um, you know, have a long way to go there. With that being said, you know, we have made some progress at short tracks, but, you know, places I, I'm really looking forward to going to Chicago, and then I'm really looking forward to going to Kentucky. We had a really fast car there and um, had a mechanical problem earlier in the year, but I feel like that's a place where we can go, um, you know, can maybe even contend for a win, but for sure have a solid top 10 day and, and be, be around all day to put ourselves in position. So I feel like our mile and a half stuff is is pretty good um you know i feel like our you know high you know max grip stuff like kansas kentucky um you know michigan those are the places where i would say our stuff's probably the best um and so uh i would say kentucky and kansas are probably our best places to get a win at the chase um but chicago and charlotte i feel like are you know we can put ourselves in position for a good finish there as well all right thank you ryan good luck tonight thanks guys